Hey guys, so like three days ago I decided I want to play with Ice Spear. And I know that the damage would be pretty bad, but I thought that maybe at least for the clear speed with Herald of Ice and Shatters and Explosions, it would be pretty decent for clear speed with Chain. And I was leveling with self cast Ice Spear from the start because I just wanted to feel the skill. And you can see a 6 link damage right here against the Innocence fight, it was horrible. And then later on I decided to quickly test the Chain and Fork and how it interacts. And I was soul crushed. Turns out Ice Spear after chaining goes into the first stage and always pierces and never arms itself again. And doesn't get a 600% increased critical strike chance. And my build was relying on Marilyn's fallacy which gives up to 240 critical strike multiplier but lowers your critical strike chance by 40%. So this was very upsetting to me because basically the only reason why I decided to even play with Ice Spear in its current state was because of chain and uh, I just wanted it would be cool and turns out I couldn't even do that. But yesterday after the stream I decided to try it with uh, Stormburst Caswell channeling and to my surprise it felt actually pretty decent. So I was thinking to continue as a Stormburst Caswell channeling Ice Spear build the next day but when I woke up this morning and checked the news I saw that Ice Spear is getting a rework. Hmm, what a coincidence. Which means I won't be able to make a video mocking Ice Spear anymore since we are getting rework. And in short this Ice Spear rework seems like a better version of uh, Barrage and Barrage is above skill. So the way I see this Ice Spear rework may actually make Ice Spear extremely OP. Because as you know anything that scales with extra projectiles like Barrage, Tornado Shot, Cremation, all those things end up pretty powerful powerful if you get extra projectiles like helmet enchantments, dying sun and all that stuff. And on top of that Ice Spear is getting um, like stages swapped. On the first stage it does not pierce but when it arms and goes into stage 2 it always pierces, becomes faster and it seems it's gonna be getting critical strike multiplier. So it becomes like a sniper uh, spell. Imagine railgun sniper machine gun type of spell. You will want to stay away from the boss because this is most likely gonna be a boss killer and not uh, clear speed setup. Just like you don't use barrage for clear speed you're not gonna want to use ice spear for clear speed. So you're gonna want to stay away from the boss and maybe it's even gonna get damage as it travels further. So it kind of encourages to be like a sniper. That would be pretty cool actually. We discuss these changes quite a lot on the stream and uh, when you think about it, Side of Shard actually could be very strong for this. We don't know if Side of Shard is gonna shoot uh, projectiles in a Nova, but if not then Side of Shard would basically triple your Ice Spear damage. I mean I'm just speculating, I don't know how exactly it's gonna scale and uh, what other stats. They are most likely not finished yet and uh, we will find out the final version of the Ice Spear closer to the release on the December. Oh actually a quick build idea for the Ice Spear uh, for the next league is to use Stormburst Caswell channeling Ice Spear. Stormburst will take care of enemies close to you or just help with the clear speed and both scale well with extra projectiles from GMP and Ice Spear would take care of bosses. It's basically what I was doing already with my build. Talking about this build I didn't really see a reason to continue playing with Ice Spear so I had to rework it into elemental hit using Tripanon Maze. And of course with Marilyn's Fallacy. With Tripanon you always crit and with Marilyn's Fallacy you get a massive critical strike multiplier. However as I was playing it I just don't enjoy it. The clear speed feels terrible even with Ancestral Call and I'm using all the elements with Elemental Equilibrium. While the single target damage can be pretty decent but the clear speed is just I don't know. I tried even using Herald of Ash because Herald of Ash doesn't, doesn't care which uh, element you hit with since it does the overkill damage as fire damage and it doesn't actually hit it just applies the burning on the enemies. So if I hit a pack of enemies and some enemies don't don't die from initial AoE then the overkill Herald of Ash would. So my Herald of Ash is even 4 linked and it does feel slightly better but still the build just feels clunky, it's slow, accuracy is not that high, it's only about 86% and if I get stunned and missed then it feels completely horrible. But I think I'll give it a bit more time, I will be getting much more damage, much more life, improve my items of course and the single target can actually feel pretty impressive. I can even stun big ass bosses, I can even freeze, shock. So the single target damage potential can be pretty decent. I'm just not sure about the clear speed, we'll see I guess. Anyway that's all I wanted to talk about for now, it's like an update video. 
Since the leveling is pretty slow, it may take a bit more time to finish this build. Or I may just end up quitting it and starting some other build. I almost kind of wish I stayed with the Stormboard's Castle Charming Ice Spear build instead of this. Because that one definitely felt better for the clear speed and the single target may not be that great but it wasn't even clunky at all. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and see you soon.